Hi guys, welcome back to ASA Technical. Today we have an essential Windows 11 tutorial for you. How to turn network discovery on or off and understanding its purpose. If you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech tips and tutorials. So let's get started. So what exactly is network discovery? In simple terms, it's a feature that allows your computer to find and communicate with other devices on the same network. This can include printers, file shared, and other computers. When network discovery is on, your computer can see and be seen by other devices on your network. Now, let's walk through the steps to turn network discovery on or off. First, right click on start menu icon and go to settings. And select network and internet from there. Now, scroll down and find the advanced network settings option and click on it. Next, click on Advanced Sharing Settings option under More Settings. Then you will see Network Discovery option. You can simply toggle it on or off based on your preference. Now that you know how to control network discovery, let's discuss when you might want to use it. Home Network or Private Network If you are in a home network with multiple devices, turning on network discovery can make it easier to share files, printers or media between devices. Public network. On the other hand, if you are on a public network like in a coffee shop or airport, it's generally safer to turn off network discovery to prevent unauthorized access to your device. Security concerns. If you have security concerns or want to keep a low profile on the network, turning off network discovery adds an extra layer of privacy. And make sure to enable password protected sharing on all network, which is highly recommended. Doesn't matter you are under home network or private network or public network. To sum it up, network discovery is a handy feature for local networks allowing seamless sharing between devices. However, on public networks or if privacy and security are priorities, it's best to turn it off. Remember, it's all about finding the right balance for your specific needs. So I hope this quick guide was helpful for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe for more Windows 11 tips and tricks. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.